Hello, and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nada McKinney, and I'm a Product Marketing Manager in Cisco Cloud Security. In today's webinar, Cisco breaks new ground in SASE convergence. I'll review exciting new capabilities in Cisco Cloud Security, and importantly, how they align with a market transition that Gartner calls SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge, which is really about the convergence of security functionality in the cloud, increasingly integrated with cloud-delivered networking capabilities like SD-WAN. Before we get started, I want to share that you may ask questions in the Q&A panel throughout the session. I'm joined today by a number of Cisco colleagues who are, here, who are here to help answer all your questions. So with that, let's get started. I'll quickly scan today's agenda. We're going to talk about convergence, several types of convergence, and the associated market transitions we're all experiencing in security and networking. I mentioned SASE a moment ago, and we'll discuss that here. We'll review expanded security functionality within Cisco Umbrella. We'll highlight SecureX, which you may have heard about. It's capability included in all Umbrella subscriptions that takes in threat intelligence not only from Umbrella, but other Cisco solutions and third-party solutions to strengthen your cybersecurity posture while also simplifying your overall security processes. We'll highlight the new Umbrella and SD-WAN single offer um, that squarely meets the marketing challenges that I'll review. We'll also discuss uh, proven top security efficacy of Cisco Umbrella, because really all the functionality that I'm going to talk about isn't going to mean much if it's not highly effective, if the, if the solutions aren't highly effective at stopping threats and making, making your organization safer. And finally, I'll talk about the future. I mentioned SASE or Secure Access Service Edge in the beginning. It's a concept in the beginning phases and there will be multiple steps for organizations. We have a great solution in this space now and going forward, Cisco is well positioned to help you as you move along that journey. Although we'll cover all the topics I just reviewed, this is really the central idea of this webinar. We want to share that Cisco, being an innovation leader in both networking and security, today we're breaking new ground, or, or, or now the announcements we're talking about today, are breaking new ground with a SaaS solution that gives you not only a growing set of security functions integrated in one cloud native service, but also unified SD-WAN and cloud security in a single offer that automates and simplifies setup and management of SD-WAN. Things like creating tunnels, making sure the traffic is properly directed to, to, to cloud security. Cisco owns both these technologies, networking and security, um, is strong in those and has made them work smoothly together. So let's get into what's happening in the market. Convergence is a central theme that's occurring in multiple ways, and I'm going to talk about three ways you're going to see throughout this deck. Convergence in cloud security. That is, that there's a, bro, a broad and growing set of security products and tools that organizations use today, and complexity is an issue. Increasingly, functionality is converging into a single cloud-native service where security can be, for, be performed effectively and efficiently. Beyond cloud security, of course, there are many security products in the typical organization, firewalls, email security, endpoint management, SIMs, and on and on. And that leads to the second convergence about unifying visibility, automation, capability across all of these products and tools into one overarching platform. Cisco SecureX makes that potential real. It combines information from Umbrella and other security solutions as well as third-party solutions. And in doing so, simplifies your security processes. The third convergence notion we'll talk about is combining cloud security with edge networking functionality. The first real example of this is, as I started to mention, the cloud security with SD-WAN offer that we'll talk about. As offices proliferate, branch offices, users are connecting directly to the internet versus that traffic being backhauled back to a central location for security. And to manage that, organizations are turning to SD-WAN for routing effectiveness and improved application experience. And cloud security is part of that for protection. So again, you'll see these three levels of convergence come out several times in this presentation. 
let's start by what we're seeing in the market. We, we've already discussed the convergence of security functions into a cloud native service. A couple stats. 93% of organizations agree that moving security to the cloud, when they've done this, has increased their efficiency. That's a pretty high number. And when they move to the cloud for security, organizations don't want to repeat the, the past and just add more and more point solutions, right? Many organizations have 20, 30, 40 point solutions, and trying to make them all, the work, all work together is, is, is a lot of work. 76% of organizations have stated that they want multiple capabilities in one cloud service. They want functions like those that are shown in the bottom of the slide. DNS layer security, secure web gateway or full proxy, firewall from the cloud, cloud access security broker functionality. In the past, they may have purchased different products for all of those, but going forward, they'd like the advantages that they get of converging them. Simpler management from a single dashboard, faster deployment, greater efficiency. Beyond cloud security, other changes are taking place that are changing network architecture. While we'll talk a lot about Umbrella here, these changes are much broader than any product or product area. 50% of the workforce will be remote by 2021. Now that stat came from a study that was done prior to the pandemic situation we're currently facing, and it's a fair bet that that number is gonna be considerably higher than even this. 60% of the organizations have said that the majority of their applications will be SaaS-based by 2021. And many organizations already report that over half their apps are SaaS-based. While we expect that you're seeing this, of course, organizations are moving at different rates, right? But the direction is clear. These factors, increased remote work and exploding SaaS applications are pushing toward direct internet access again, versus backhauling traffic from remote sites back to a central location for security. 79% of organizations are shifting some or all of their remote locations to direct internet access. And when you move in that direction, what becomes important is SD-WAN and cloud security. Software-defined, SD-WAN, software-defined wide area network <laughs> can help you efficiently route traffic, improve application experience and streamline management. Because the security challenges that emerge if you're not backhauling traffic to the main site for security using the tr traditional security stack, because of the challenges that come if you're not doing that, you do need to provide security another way. You need those uh, cloud security capabilities that were shown on the previous slide. This is just a visual that kind of shows how uh, the growth in remote locations or branches going directly to the internet is impacting both networking and security. On the left, you see the traditional security stack at a central location. And on the right, you see a gray line from a single branch office, but it could be hundreds or thousands of branch offices going back to the central location where security is applied. And that can be okay if there aren't too many remote locations, but as they expand and proliferate, costs get high and performance impacts become significant. And I just said in a previous slide that over 50% of applications and growing, most organizations are in the cloud. So it makes sense for remote locations to access those applications directly. Organizations are doing that. They're going DIA or direct to internet access. And SD-WAN can make that new networking approach both effective and efficient. But again, if remote users aren't going back to a central location, robust security has to be applied elsewhere. And that's where cloud security comes in. And it's that combination of SD-WAN and cloud native security service with, with the rich functionality I've started talking about that organizations are adopting. Now, now, this transition has been happening over time. It's not brand new, right? Companies forever have been buying standalone security products independently. Kind of you look at that on the left. Then the term secure internet gateway emerged over the last several years may have heard it, as vendors start to combine some of those standalone products and deliver them from the cloud. Most recently, you may have heard the term SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge, um, that's what Gartner calls it, to describe not only a set of security services being converged and delivered from the cloud, but also connecting that with SD-WAN networking services, again, all delivered from the cloud. 
And we're not at the end of this. SASE is a vision and it's a concept. It is happening now, but it is going to continue to evolve. Organizations are starting to combine these elements and we expect that to continue. Um, so at the end of the session, we'll talk a little bit about futures and about what it means to make decisions now that need to serve your needs now, as well as um, position you for going forward as this SASE vision evolves. If we switch gears to looking over time at Cisco Umbrella, we've not just started um, marching against this, this uh, market evolution. We've been, we've been aggressively working with it for years. Back in 2006, we came out with a cloud native solution. You may have heard of OpenDNS. In 2015, Cisco acquired OpenDNS and continued to add security functionality over the years. In 2019, we added a whole new categories to what, what was, you know, changed the name to Umbrella. We added whole new categories such as Secure Web Gateway or Full Web Proxy, Cloud Delivered Firewall, Cloud Access Security Broker, or CASB functionality. Now up to 2000 or, or 2020, right now what we're talking about today, we have a whole new set of capabilities that we'll be highlighting. Key thing is that Umbrella is a fast moving product and we continue to aggressively add functionality. And as I moved into the next section, I'll unpack some of these announcements that you, that you see on the far right of this slide. And of course, we're not at the end. We're gonna continue this tra trajectory of rapid announcements, continuously expanding and deepening functionality. So if we look at some of the announcements that we're making, <clears throat> I'm going to divide them in a, uh, in a couple ways to kind of unpack them for you. First, we're going to talk about the value that we can deliver right here and now today. Talk about three major buckets, expanded functionality within Umbrella, again, covering a couple components, SWG or Secure Web Gateway, Cloud Delivered Firewall, CASB, and SecureX. We'll go into that. Number two, we'll talk about that, SD, that combined SD-WAN and Bella offer, right? It's much more than just the convenience of a combined offer. We've automated the provisioning and setup of things like tunnel setup, uh, directing traffic to the, to the proper place in the umbrella cloud, making security deployment within SD-WAN simple. And then lastly, um, we'll talk, uh, talk about um, the uh, number, uh, uh, high security efficacy for umbrella and third-party research uh, that demonstrates this. And we'll go into that. Beyond the value that we can deliver right here and now, we'll also talk a bit about the future. Um, this move towards SASE, as I said a moment ago, is going to continue. Converging network security and increasingly identity and access as well. It's not a one-time thing. And although we're adding pieces, you'll need to look to the long-term, look to your end game and where you wanna be multiple years from now, and we'll talk about that. So let's dig into the announcement. Some of you may be familiar with this picture. We've, we've been using it at Cisco Umbrella for a while. The visual parts of it are just meant to communicate that in one cloud delivered service, we've converged all these types of security services built natively in the cloud using containers and microservices so it's highly flexible and scalable. I'll touch on announcements in each of these categories. DNS layer security. Since DNS is the first step in nearly all internet connections, and it's used by all devices. It's an ideal first layer of defense to enforce security and block domains associated with malware, phishing, um, or any other acceptable requests. Secure web gateway, full web proxy, existing and new functionality we're adding at a rapid pace. We'll talk about cloud delivered firewall, new functions that we've got in limited availability. We'll talk about those and new CASB functions as well. Concerning threat intelligence, just a quick uh, comment, Umbrella processes over 200 billion internet requests per day Those come into Umbrella. And we use that deep knowledge of threats to flow it into all the other elements that are part of this converged uh, security service. And we don't just have the perspective of this one product, Umbrella, we're combining threat intelligence from across the Cisco security portfolio and third party security solutions with SecureX. This summarizes both existing and new capabilities and umbrella kind of categorized in three important categories. First, visibility. The need is of course to be comprehensive. The ability to ensure visibility both on and off network, internet and web specific traffic, 
all apps, all devices, full or selective decryption, depending on your privacy or compliance concerns. All those need to be there. We've newly added visibility when joining data from across Cisco security products, as well as across uh, a whole set of third-party security solutions. And with that, I'm talking about the SecureX um, capabilities and dashboard that we'll discuss uh, more as we go on. From a, from, from a protection perspective, we've talked already a little bit about DNS layer security, web inspection, file inspection provided by AMP, sandboxing provided by ThreatGrid, all natively built into the umbrella solution with deep interactive threat intelligence. We've just added file type blocking as well. If we look at the control dimension, there's a whole set of functions for control, including URL block and allow lists, port and protocol rules, and content filtering. And we've newly added tenant restrictions, granular app controls, as well as uh, layer seven firewall uh, capability, application visibility and control, and we'll touch on that. I wanted to show this just to show the progression of features just with one, within one aspect of Umbrella. We're talking about the secure web gateway here. And this demonstrates the velocity of features that we're adding in SWG. All of this capability is delivered just within the last six months. We're not gonna go into detail on all of that, but its point is to show the rapid progression of functional enhancement, both across the umbrella and within key categories like Secure Web Gateway. This is another functional capability within umbrella, Cloud Delivered Firewall. Now in limited avail availability, is layer seven application visibility or control. It enables you to recognize non-web applications and take appropriate action to block or allow them. With this layer seven application visibility and control, uh, you can monitor and control applications and protocols by name, the plain English making things much simpler and much more straightforward. Um, when you think about web traffic, that's managed by SWG or Secure Web Gateway, but that's not enough. You need to control the non-web uh, traffic, like traffic that doesn't flow on HTTP uh, and HTTPS. Examples, apps use various ports and protocols. Think about Microsoft Teams or formerly Skype. SWG is gonna block Skype's web traffic over ports 80 and 443. But Skype also has voice and video traffic, and that needs to be managed another way, and that would be cloud-delivered firewall. Another example might be insecure protocols that many customers wish to block. Uh, some customers don't want to allow virtual terminal connection into other networks, Telnet, or file transfers, say via FTP, or peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, like with BitTorrent. Another example is anonymizing browsers. In, in a corporate enterprise environment, a lot of times uh, uh, corporations would not like to keep to, to allow their users to use anonymous browsers. Um, so that can, be, that can be controlled as well. As I mentioned, this is in limited availability. So if customers want this functionality, they just need to request it. But application visibility and control isn't unique to cloud delivered firewall. With this change, it's just been extended for broader coverage. At the DNS layer, Umbrella provides visibility into cloud apps in use, helping customers identify potential risk and block specific applications if desired. Secure Web Gateway can block web-based applications, as we've been talking about, at the URL level with granular control of application functions. This new capability, Cloud Delivered Firewall Layer 7, complements this, extending application visibility and control to non-web, non-HTTP, HTTPS traffic, such as, you know, the examples that I just gave a moment ago, right? Applications that aren't performing DNS lookup, apps that use hard-coded IP addresses, apps where signature-based detection is required to identify and block. Today, we can identify and block about a thousand applications, but that is rapidly growing. If now we move to another element of uh, Umbrella, Cloud uh, Access Security Broker or CASB functionality, that's another capability that's getting more and more integrated into this one service umbrella. 
um, what, one of the things that's new are tenant restrictions. This is key for many customers. Uh, you may have SaaS applications like Office 365, Slack, G Suite, or some other application where you only want your corporate instance being used, meaning you don't want your employees exfiltrating data, like taking sensitive files or documents out of um, your environment into their personal instance of, say, G Suite. You can do that control now with an umbrella. There's a variety of use cases. Of course, there's the security use case, right? The one I just mentioned, not wanting people to intentionally or inadvertently exfiltrate data. Um, but there's also the productivity angle, right? Many organizations want to be limiting um, use of these applications to the, to the sanctioned, uh, sanctioned co uh, corporate use. Another capability we've recent announced, recently announced that many customers uh, uh, have been asking for is uh, increased tunnel capacity. We've increased the tunnel capacity to, uh, and, and the tunnel meaning getting traffic from um, the, your environment for, for many of these capabilities to the umbrella cloud. We've increased the tunnel speed to 250 megabits per second, and we also offer higher capacity up to 500 megabits per second for customers who, who have higher traffic needs. If that's the scenario, you simply need to request it. This enables you to tunnel all outbound traffic to Umbrella, where Umbrella intelligently directs that traffic to the appropriate service for the appropriate controls, right? I've been talking about secure web gateway, cloud-delivered firewall, DNS layer security, that um, uh, transfer of the traffic is done within Umbrella. We're seeing really a lot of success with these capabilities. Customers are getting value from the new capabilities I've been discussing and from having them converged in a cloud native service. They're happy with the rate of development of new capabilities, and as I said earlier, that trajectory is going to do nothing but continue and accelerate. And as this customer commented, KCA do tag. Customers do see this security and networking transformation, like we've been talking about SASE, as a journey, not something that's one and done, and they're partnering with Cisco along that journey. So let's switch gears a little bit and talk just a moment about SecureX. As I mentioned briefly when we started, uh, this isn't something you buy. It comes with Cisco security products, including Umbrella. And it extends the value beyond just umbrella, providing increased security and simplicity by combining information data from network tools, endpoint tools, cloud security tools, application security tools. The SecureX dashboard gives you improved visibility across the entire Cisco portfolio, plus uh, many third-party solutions like threat intelligence tools, identity tools, SIMs, et cetera. It's all together in one dashboard with the ability to quickly toggle into widgets for more detail. Um, and it combines information from, of course, across those tools and automating action in response to the intelligence that's brought forward. So SecureX really starts to simplify your security processes, reducing strain on your security staff and improving the level of protection and response time. So let's switch to another topic and talk a little bit about the uh, SD-WAN and Umbrella single offer. We'll turn our attention to this new market-leading automation. It's an industry first. It's a single offer that provides Cisco SD-WAN and Cisco Umbrella and the new capabilities I've been describing here, and that automates the connection between the two. We've made it easy for organizations to connect SD-WAN and cloud security, even if there are hundreds or thousands of remote sites. As organizations move to direct internet access, many find, and we certainly hear this a lot, that that initial deployment, getting tunnels set up, getting traffic directed, is often a big hindrance. It's a lot of work. We've recognized this and are answering that market need. And we're leading in this space. This is the most automation between the two that you're going to see in the market. It's about fast forwarding time to value. Yes, it's, it's about the top notch protection and top security efficacy, yes, but it's also about how quickly customers can gain that value. Many organiz organizations struggle with, with the complexity of their security environment. And this single offer goes a long way toward making it easy to configure and deploy, as well as manage on an ongoing basis across a distributed network 
in many remote locations. And of course, it enables customers to take advantage of the deeper inspection controls that I've been talking about, in secure web gateway, cloud-delivered firewall, et cetera. There are two aspects of this integration um, that we've provided. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me, first of all, deployment. Uh, customers often speak of months of deployment in SD-WAN, and we've narrowed that to not just weeks, but sometimes days or hours. We've seen customers do it in just a few clicks. Now, of course, it depends on the size and complexity of your environment, but it can be quite simple. There's no need to manually enter API keys. Uh, the API key is automatically provisioned on the Edge device within the new DNA Premier SD-WAN software subscription. Again, it's a single offer, which includes the Umbrella capability that comes with Umbrella SIG Essential. That's the first aspect of automation. The second aspect of automation is um, simplified tunnel creation. Instead of having to manually establish a tunnel from each edge device to umbrella, you can easily set up IPsec tunnels to umbrella from the SD-WAN device. Quickly deploy secure SD-WAN to not only uh, one branch, but dozens, hundreds or more, and have a common overall management approach for all your sites, simplifying ongoing management. Some of you have been answer, asking questions in the Q&A. I want to respond to one that kind of makes sense here. Um, someone asked, our organization is moving to SD-WAN, uh, we're in the early planning. To get the remote office security from Umbrella, we have to purchase Umbrella separately, right? Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I said that clearly enough. No. When you implement Cisco SD-WAN, the software that manages it is called DNA software. There's three options, DNA Essentials, DNA Advantage, and DNA Premier. Think kind of good, good, better, best in terms of functionality. When you buy DNA Premier, the licensing for Umbrella, for the Umbrella software that provides the capabilities I've been describing here is included. The specific Umbrella package is called Umbrella SIG Essentials, but it comes with that one order, which is why we say it's a single offer. We're getting really great customer reaction to this. Here are a couple customer quotes. Um, Presidio's comment emphasized the simplified deployment and configuration and how it's been a really big step forward in simplifying overall management of a distributed environment. WWT's comment mentioned um, that complexity of trying to manage many point products and the value that they're deriving from Umbrella combining so many capabilities into a single cloud native solution. They even mentioned bringing umbrella security to the branch, quote, in a matter of minutes. The last thing, uh, or the next thing I wanna talk about is um, um, umbrella's proven security efficacy. All that we've talked about up till now, new functionality, the combined offer with SD-WAN, doesn't matter a lot if you aren't providing highly proficient um, ability to block malicious activity happening out on the web. Of course, the more malicious activity you, you block, the less chance there is of a damaging breach, and the less you have to investigate or remediate. So we're delighted to report that in a recent test, AV Test, which is a highly respected third-party testing organization, demonstrated that Umbrella was the leader in security efficacy when compared to its strongest competitors. That was true both for secure web gateway uh, or full proxy capability, as well as DNS layer security. Um, as I mentioned, it was an independent test from AV test, highly respected third party. Um, it was done in December, uh, uh, November and December of 2019, and Umbrella consistently performed better than the competition. There's a full report, there's a link that, that you will be receiving in a follow-up email. It was broken into different types of tests, malicious files, malicious destinations, phishing tests. Um, no vendor had any knowledge of or involvement in the tests being run. And again, Umbrella performs substantially better than competitors. Um, and you can see some the ones here for testing Secure Web Gateway, we, we tested against uh, Symantec, Zscaler, and Palo Alto. Um, there, there's another question in the Q&A that I'll touch on. I, I answered part of it when I just spoke, but maybe not the whole thing. So the comment was along the lines of, 
everybody says, all the vendors say they're the best in security efficacy. Um, wh why is Umbrella any different? And I would say that, yes, you're right. Most vendors do say that. But the security results I mentioned where Umbrella is head and neck above its competitors stands out for a few reasons. So let me tell you three of those reasons. Number one, AV Test is one of the most respected third-party security testing organizations in the, in the world, excuse me. Number two, uh, I think I did mention this port, point, all products were configured with the highest level of security capability for the products. Oh, no, maybe I had not mentioned that. The point that I did mention was that in this test, neither Umbrella nor any of its competitors had any knowledge or involvement in the malware samples or destinations used. And even with all those capabilities, we were, um, Umbrella was head and neck above the rest. Um, we're getting close to wrapping up. I'd like to talk a bit about having confidence when moving toward this notion of a secure access service edge, fulfilling that vision. SASE is about many steps over time. Cisco has been engaging in this evolution for a long time, continuously listening to our customers and making solution enhancements that progress along this path towards SASE. And you can see in today's announcements that we're taking big steps to converge capabilities and automate it, and, and, and automate. SASE crosses networking, where we're the worldwide leader, security, where we're a leader, and identity and access as well. So when you're thinking about the future, uh, you're thinking about your organizations moving to the cloud, your own digital transformation, your approach to SASE, the best way to think about it is that it's a long-term multi-step process. You want to think about where you're trying to go and what vendor or vendors can best help you along that journey. As you consider that, I want to give you a few, few thoughts to think about. Number one, Cisco is very strongly positioned in this SASE arena, both regarding where we are now and our future plans for further integration and automation. Continued improved visibility, sharpening our security performance across all three of these areas. Number two, at Cisco, we're doing it with our own infrastructure. Now, there's a lot of analyst commentary and advice out there about vendors who rent out space. In that scenario, it's not necessarily fine-tuned for security, and they don't necessarily have full control, making them potentially less flexible. For the contrary, Cisco is building natively in the cloud. I mentioned a couple slides back using microservices and containers. So we're highly flexible with what we can turn off and on to meet customer needs. Number three, we're not just doing it looking at Cisco. SecureX is all about providing visibility and automated remediation across all of Cisco's portfolio, as well as third-party capability. And fourthly, the underpinning of our extraordinary security performance and the efficacy I've been talking about is Cisco Talos. All the threat intelligence from Umbrella, products like Umbrella, AMP, ThreatGrid, Firepower, all those Cisco security products are enriched and integrated with Cisco Talos threat intelligence. And if you haven't heard it before, Talos is the largest part of Cisco, the largest non-governmental security research organization in the world. So the, so the bottom line of this is that Cisco is well positioned for the future and well positioned to partner with you. If you would like to learn more about Cisco Umbrella, the capabilities we've talked about today and Cisco Umbrella overall, I'm going to invite you to see these resources. These and all the resources that, that you've seen hyperlinked in this presentation will be included in a follow-up email that you'll receive after this session. I have uh, enjoyed sharing this with you today. We'll leave the Q&A open for a few minutes longer if you wish, uh, wish to ask any uh, last minute questions. And with that, I will just say thank you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.